When I Draw Panda by Amy June Bates. I love to draw. Sometimes when they say to draw a perfect circle, mine turns out a little wrong. I can draw a perfect fluffy cloud, a perfect scoop of ice cream, and a perfect flat tire. So when I draw a panda, I keep drawing more and more not perfect circles until I see a panda. Then I step back and think, what else does a panda need? He probably needs a hat. And then he is my panda. My panda draws his own way. When someone tells him to draw a castle the right way, he would rather draw it the left way. And if they tell him to draw something pretty, he draws something pretty silly. My panda shows me how to draw a dragon. One, draw a squiggle. Two, decide which end is the head and which is the tail. Three, draw the tail last. Sometimes when they say how to draw a perfect pirate, superhero, crocodile, mad scientist, or princess, my panda prefers to draw an imperfect, super heroic, madly scientific, piratical princess crocodile. Sometimes when they say to draw the perfect bowl of fruit, my panda looks at the window and watches a butterfly. Then he thinks about what it would be like to be a butterfly until he's totally forgotten what he was supposed to be drawn. I can draw my own way too. Sometimes when they say to draw it this way, I ask why? And when they say draw it that way, I do. But I add a unicorn horn later. Sometimes they say that will never work, but it does. Sometimes they say, make sure you don't run out of space, but I didn't, so I do. Sometimes they can't figure out what we have drawn and then it is a mystery because we will never tell them. Sometimes they say, you and your panda draw too crazy. And I say, thank you. Sometimes we are supposed to draw quietly. But we can't help it. Our pencils like to roar. Sometimes lines come out of our pencils and they're not going anywhere in particular. They are just going somewhere that makes us happy.